Welcome back, everybody. I'm back playing Windwalker. I took a little bit of a break there. I went and got, took a shower, got dressed, and I came right back down to play. To play. Now, I am fairly certain that tonight's the new moon, and I got to get in there, that lower building there. But I I think it's early yet. I, I, sh I should have some indicator, I hope, Okay, here we go. Wait, what's going on? Oh, the guard. You uh, monks, I wish monks didn't even come around here. Okay, I get it. Um, so it is a new moon, and there's supposed to be some stuff going down. With the, uh-oh, did I just bump into that guy? With the shrines. So I believe that something's got to happen to give me an indicator of what I need to do. I'm really not sure what that is. Um, I was gonna go into that, the alchemist house, but I'm not sure if it's the right time yet. That's my dilemma. <laughs> That's my, I'm just gonna go do it. Let's just go do it. Let's go take a peek. Here it is. Now, according to the, who's that guy? According to the Empress, this is the alchemist's um, whatever, his house. So let's just kind of look around. <coughs> oh, let's read this scroll, shall we? There's a scroll. Let's read it. Ooh, opening the alchemist scroll. You read. Personal record, I'm finally close to realizing the dream I've had for years, domination of the astral plane. Collaborating with Zurong, the warlord, I slipped some Hui Ma Rin into the Emperor's tea one night. That's why he's drugged. He has been in a deep coma and hidden in one of the prison cells ever since. Okay, even if an antidote is given to the Emperor, it will not work as long as I am on the material plane, exerting my power over it. Really? Okay. I have learned how to survive and rule on the astral plane, though no other mere human can do the same. On the first night of the new moon, at the stroke of midnight, I will enter the astral plane through the astral gate, which I have constructed in my upper chamber. There I will summon in my evil allies to do my bidding. The shrines and the people of Kantun will fall under my power. My only concern is that someone may discover the peach tree of immortality on the Isle of the Dead and learn to use its special power. Okay. What is this? Shindo, the god of luck, disguised as a panda bear, guards the peach tree vigorously against my efforts to destroy it. I've learned that he reveals his true nature on the nights of the full moon. I have placed the brutish Oni, Onis in the cave leading to the peach tree so that no one may have access to it. Shinjing alchemist of the court of Zuron. Brutish Oni, Ani. Is it Oni or Ani? That's a, uh, Jap well, I know it's Japanese mythology because I've read about Onis. I thought it was Oni or Ani. I don't know how they pronounce it. Um, yeah, they're kind of a demonish type, large humanoid creatures, if I remember right. Um, interesting. Okay, Peach Tree, Isle of the Dead. It, uh, the god that's guarding it only shows his true self on the night of a full moon. So I got a ways to wait for that. But it sounds like I need to get... I'm going to need to get that talisman that makes you invisible so that I can get into wherever that cave is, where the peach tree is. I got to get past those onis or onis, whatever the heck they are. What's going on? Something's happening. Okay, let's go check out this cabinet. You find a jar of eyes of fire. I have no idea what that is. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Um, something, the screen was flashing there. I'm not sure what that was all about. So let's just keep looking around down here. I know I got to go up those stairs right there, and that's where his chamber is, where he's probably opening an astral gate. What's this? Can I... As you touch the shelves, the shelf of bottles and vials, an irresistible force seizes your body. What do you mean? What? I just got pushed out? Oh. There must be some defense mechanism. Against thieves! I'm not a thief, I'm a nice guy. Aren't I? Nothing over there. Should we check out this nightstand? <gasps> Nothing there. Alright, let's go head over to them stairs. I almost wonder if I need to be invisible to do this, because I wonder what's up these stairs. I do not remember. I don't remember if I did this in 1990 when I played this game. I thought I got close to winning. What's going on? It's loading something. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, whoa! The shrines have now become mine. Okay, says that creature. Your honor compels you to free the shrines. I shall do it! All right, let's go up these stairs. I don't know what's up here. I'm a little scared. A monster. What's he doing? I'm confused. I am confused and I can't seem to move correctly. So this sucks. Oh man. Heal my body? Can I cast heal my body? I don't know. I hope it goes away. Oh man. There I remember that healer guy who was selling the medicines had stuff to help you with confusion. There's the gate. It's up toward the top of the screen. I wonder if I can get myself up there. Oh, there, oh, it went away. All right. Okay, now I remember the fireball takes a lot of energy and I'm down one pip. I'm down one pip. So the first thing I'm gonna do, blessed instant, yes. I am going to um, empower my spirit. I'm going to empower my spirit, I'm going to heal that, and then I'm going to cast Exercise straight up into that gate. What do you say? Can I go through the gate? I wonder if I can go through the gate. Hmm, should we try? Holy crap! The Astral Gate teleports you to the Astral Plane. Now what? Wow! Take a screenshot of that. Is there anything cool here? Uh oh. I slowly die here. Okay, let's get out. I'm not sticking around. There's not there's no point. I'm coming back. The Astro Gate teleports you to the material plane. Wow, I didn't know okay, that's cool. Well that's neat. I'm not gonna mess around with that. I am going to cast I, well, let me go there. Maybe there's something there for me to do. I'm going to close the gate. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to cast Exercise. I'm going to cast Exercise and close the gate because I'm compelled to close the gate. I'm not going to mess around with traveling. If you feel an intense heat rising in your hands, okay? Direction. I kind of remember doing this in the shrines. An intense ball of fire rises from the palm of your hands. Whoa! I'm glad that I healed myself. What happened? There's the fireball. Crappy graphics for the Amiga. You have de deactivated the astral gate. Cool. I am not doing good though. I uh, I better... Whoa, what's happening now? 
Yes, he's advancing me. It is Manta. Manta, right? Manta? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I closed the astral gate. Shin Jing, or whatever his name is, Shin Jang, was on the other side. So he's trapped. He's no longer on the material plane. So that means if I can find a way... Yes, if I can find a way to heal the emperor... Oh, look at this. Loser! You have been trapped. I have been trapped here on the astral plane. Moral, shall taste my vengeance someday. I don't think so, because there was never a sequel to this game that was made, that I'm aware of. If, if you guys have heard, if anyone's watching this and has heard of a sequel, let me know, because I don't think there is. But I'd be curious, because that guy's a putz. Uh-oh. Oh man, really? Is he gonna touch me again? Inappropriately and make me confused? Yes. I'm confused again, and I'm sleepy, and I'm hungry. Okay, well I can eat, right? Can I eat? Food? Yes. Oh boy, I gotta deal with this again. And I'm sleepy. I know after a little while the confusion, oh it went away, okay. Now I have to go to the shrines I believe. Um, I closed the astral gate, but that demon or whatever it was took control of the shrines. So I believe they're still under the shrines are still under the influence of whatever demons came through. So I gotta go deal with that, I believe. Yeah, I know, you don't like monks. So let's go to the closest shrine is over here. I got my robes of righteousness on. Cross the bridge. Is that my boat or is that the other guy's boat? I don't want to take anybody's boat. Ooh, it's stormy. I've never seen stormy skies before. If I have, I don't remember. Must have something to do with the demons. Oh, there's a bad guy coming at me. There goes the fisherman. People are coming out. Of their homes. What? What am I doing here? What the heck just happened? Sometimes I don't understand. I get pulled into places and I don't get that. That's happened, I think, once before, didn't it? Whoa! <laughs> I got. I guess get hit by lightning. I... Whoa! Yeah, that sucks. You know, for, I love the Amiga. The Amiga had awesome gra graphics. It had awesome sound, but it really was lacking on this game. And I know not all games can be awesome and stuff, but this is a fun game. But man, I wish the graphics and the sound effects were just a little nicer. Oh, there's a ninja? I'm taking off the robes. I'm gonna fight. Take them off. I'm gonna fight these guys without the robes on. And I'm still sleepy, so that sucks. Right? Right! I gotta get into that shrine. I'm pretty sure that I gotta take care of... I gotta... I was, it told me I was compelled to free the shrines. So I closed the astral gate. Shin Jing was on the other side. He's trapped. I don't have to worry about that a-hole anymore. So, but I still think that the shrines need some help. So let's go and take care of these guys. And we'll take care of the shrines. Oh, jeez. Maybe not. Uh, it didn't hurt me, but still, right? 
Oh, here we go. I'm gonna kick him in the face. Ready? Go down. Stay down. You're messing with a sleepy monk. Drop some food, okay. All right, let's get in here. Oh yeah, look at that. The priest is not looking good. Okay, let's cast a little spell. Let's cast a uh, blessed incense light one. Let's exercise. Let's exercise that priest. You feel intense heat rising in your hands. Come on. Direction. Uh-oh. I've been hit. Uh-oh. I'm going to die. I am going to die because it's going to kill me, right? It's going to kill me. I have a bad feeling. Your spirit is not strong enough. Oh, jeez, really? Okay, now I got to heal my... Restore, no, empower my spirit. Because I got hit and it weakened me. Man. I'm gonna, there we go. I'm going to use up all my incense. Battle in this priest. Hope he doesn't shoot another fireball at me. He did. Okay, my turn. Blessed incense, light one. E-X-O-R. Exercise. Let's do it. And immediately I got to cast uh, Empower My Spirit again because I'll be very weak. And if I get hit by another fireball, then it's game over. An intense ball of fire rises in your hands. See, look at that. Oh my gosh. I brought him back, right? Oh, Moral, you freed my soul from the grip of the evil one. Your honor shall be known to all people, and the blessings of the truth shall follow you. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So much happening. What? You may have foiled me this time, but Shin Jing, the alchemist, will bring me back the next new moon. No, he won't, putz, because I just trapped him in the astral plane. So, empower. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, empower my spirit let's do it heal 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 because if i lose all of my spirit what's going on and i die just like if i lose all my health really oh my god i didn't have he's gonna heal me i didn't have to use my my uh incense to empower my spirit what is it octopus oh yeah an octopus Okay, octopus, third order of water. Boy, I'm just climbing up the levels tonight. Today, it's daytime. Yep, it's still daytime. Uh, continue your quest of honor. Oh, I will. Heal me. I'm sleepy, but I have to get to the other shrine. My honor compels me to go free the other shrine, so I gots to go. The sun is up. Oh, soldier. Going to have to beat this guy up, huh? Because he ain't going to let me get past. Yep, here we go. All right, I'll whoop ya. You ready? Come on, take a step at me, I swear. I'm going <gasps> to kick you in the face. Whoa! Not cool. Not cool. Oh, he's fast. Back. Oh, I turned on intuition. Turn it off. Go back to concentration. Yeah. <gasps> 
Boy, he keeps advancing on me. Keep retreating. Okay. Kick. <gasps> there he should go down. He's harmless. But he did hurt me. Hopefully he dropped something good. Some food. Okay, I'll take it. Now I gotta go get my boat. And I gotta go back to the other town. And then when I'm done with the other village and freeing, that is my boat, and freeing the shrine there, I need to go and get a talisman made. Obviously, I have to be prepared for the full moon. Because at the full moon is when that panda god dude shows up. And I got to, obviously, I got to talk to him about the peach tree. And it must have something to do with healing the emperor, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, where am I? You know what? I think I have to go west from here, don't I? Yeah, I do. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Distance passes. Oh, there is land over here. Uh-oh. Bad weather. Oh. Hit by lightning. That shouldn't happen too much in a person's life. Well, I am on a boat. I do have a mast up in the air, right? I suppose if you're going to get hit by lightning. Okay. I can't move. It's like stuck in this weird bad weather pattern. Okay. There's the shrine. Let's go do what we gotta do. Oh, another ninja. Let's drop anchor. Ooh, he threw a throwing star at me, but he missed. Loser! You missed me, loser. Okay. We'll defeat this rascal, and then we'll go into the shrine and free this shrine from the influences of the demons from the astral plane. Boy, that sounds like a lot going on. Boy, we're just not connecting. I'll connect this yeah. one though. Okay, I didn't. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. He's determined. I am determined. Yeah. So am I. I land a powerful blow. Okay. Food. Okay, food's fine. Alright, now I have my spirit is full. Oh, okay, he is possessed. Let's run this way. He's going to shoot a fireball at me. And I'm going to shoot one back. Where is it? Where, oh, blessed incense. I'm like, I uh, can't see it. E... X O R C I S E. You're in trouble, little bald priest. I'm going to exercise your possession. You're being possessed. That's not good. Okay. Direction. Boom. An intense ball of fire rises from the palm of your hand. Holy moly. Bam. Uh. Oh, I was going to say, he didn't switch back. Okay, now this guy is going to be... Oh, thank you, you're so cool. Your honor shall be known to all the people. Blessings and truth. And then this guy will say, Ooh, I'll be back. And I'm going to be like, no, you won't. Because you're a putz. What? You have foiled my this time, but Shen Jang, the alchemist, will bring me back. No, he won't. He's, he's gone. 
And cool. All right. Another level? I get a level each time I free the... Cool. All right. What is the fourth order of water? Is dolphin. Boy, I am climbing. What? You should consult them. What did I do? The f Oh, shark. Shark! At least he gave me a second chance, right? Thanks, Mobius. Continue your quest of honor. All right. Good. I'm all healed up. Now I'm a shark. A land shark. I don't know. Do I have any incense that I need this guy to bless? Nope. I got some money. got some other stuff. Okay. That's it. That is it. I am sleepy, so I will sleep. But I shall do so out here. I will get a good night's sleep. I'm going to try to find the fisherman down here too because I guess the other fisherman was saying that the fisherman of this village has more information about that retired assassin. So I'm kind of curious. We're still on the new moon. I'm fully rested. Uh, I'm going to sleep a little bit longer. Okay, good. Now I'm hungry. I better eat something, right? Okay, okay, good, good. Now I'm going to go find that other fisherman. I managed to, you know, come across the other fisherman from that village up north by kind of seeing him in the morning come out of his little hut. And I followed him out to the water. I did that in the last video. So I'm going to probably do that here. And I thought I was going to do it on the last video as well. But I had the, the villages goofed up. So I hope this guy does show himself. Okay, that must be his boat. That has to be his boat. So let's go ashore and we'll wait for him. We will just hang out and wait for him. Because sun, the sunrise should be happening soon, right? And the little fisher dude should be coming out of his hut. So I'm stalking the fishermen of this village. Maybe I'll talk to this guy quick. Talk to the old beggar while I'm waiting. Uh, people, talk is cheap. Yes, have a coin. Thank you, sir. I'll take one. The old assassin. Last time I heard Tao Wu, he was retiring from being an assassin and leading a quiet life of solitude on a remote island somewhere north of Puntang. Tao Wu was considered the very quickest and most fleet-footed. Perhaps you could ask him how he is so quick. I will do that. And I got a little beepy. So let's look around some more places. Anything here? No. What about things? Incense, shoe. I already got your shoe. I don't think I need another shoe. That's it for now. And that's it for now. Come on, Don. Gotta become. Oh, here we go. 
There's a warship down there. Should we go fight the warship? He doesn't seem to care. Oh, there we go. He noticed me now. <laughs> I'll come over there. You're going to be sorry I did. Just shot a cannonball at me. While we're waiting for the fishermen, I'll kick these soldiers' butts. Get a little experience going, right? I love that back kick. It works well. Boy, I'm getting a lot of food. I wish you know, I wish that they would drop some incense. But that's okay. All right, the fisherman does not seem to be wanting to come out. I don't know where he is. You would think that he would rise. There he is. Oh, geez, he's way down there. Can I talk to him? Um, people. Tell me about people, the old assassin. This legendary assassin who became a recluse. I've actually seen Tao Wu living in a remote island the far north of the Imperial Palace. Who might be you thinking of? Assassins. Uh, you've had a better chance to count guard for lurking assassins. Yeah, I know. They're often sneaking around in boats searching for their victims. I wish more of the assassins would learn to do as Tao Wu, the famous reformed assassin, did. Okay. I'll ask him about the explorer, too. You met him once he was working on a new map of the region. And then... Okay. Nothing major there. Places. Land of the Dead. Isle of the Dead. I don't know where the Isle of the Deads are. I don't want to either. He's not saying anything new here. Things. Okay. Um, turtles. Occasionally I get one in the net. Maybe I should buy more turtles. I probably should. I don't know. I think I will. I'm going to follow this guy. A short distance, and then we will ask him about turtles, and I'll ask him again about the assassin. He's going to go this way, eh? All right, I'll go this way with you. We'll go a little distance, and then I'll ask you some questions. You ready? Let's do it. Yep, the winds are quick. Gotta talk fast. Supplies! Uh, let's buy some turtles, shells. I have two types, green and striped. I'll do another striped. And I got some money left, so I can buy another. I'm gonna buy a green. I'll buy a green. So I got two green and two striped. And that's all I want. I'll buy, I can't buy any stonehead syrup. I'm not even sure what that's for. So that's it. Okay, now I am going to head up. Oh, and by the way, you can catch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never really told me much. All right. I am going to head up to the islands north of the palace, talk to the assassin. The retired assassin one more time. And then, after talking to him, I am going to go over and talk to the shaman on the Isle of the Dead. I've never been to the Isle of the Dead yet in this 
gameplay. I do believe I had been there back in 1990. But as of yet, we have not seen the Isle of the Dead. I don't remember what's there. Other than a couple caves that are listed on the map that I got. And supposedly the shaman, shaman, is located in the most northeast cave. So that's the plan. That fisherman's following me, or he was, but now I'm out of here. Okay. Distance passes. I don't know where I am. I might have to look at the map. I'm moving, but I'm not really seeing anything. I must be, oh, here we go, distance passes again. Here we got some land. All right, there's a hut or something. Where am I? I better check the map, yes. Okay, I'm there. All right. So I still got to go north. I gots to go north. Sailing takes me away. I'm sleepy and hungry. Okay, here's some more islands. As soon as I get up to the explorer's hut, not the explorer, the retired assassin's hut, I will rest and sleep. I want to talk to this guy again and see if he has any secrets on how he was so fast. Let's go this way. This looks a little familiar. I wonder if this is his island. Yep, there it is. Okay. <laughs> right, drop anchor. Yes. Sleepy. Oh, thief. Awesome. Well, let's eat. Food. I got lots of food. Don't have a lot of money so let's hopefully this little thief dude will drop me some money oh yeah buddy Punched him in the face. Okay. What did you drop? Please drop money. Or incense. Money! Yeah, money! Alright. Let's uh, take a quick nap. Get some sleep. The sun is going down. And we are now headed toward a full moon. The moon will start filling in again. And I got to I got to be ready to talk to the panda god. So I got some work to do here ahead of me. I kind of know where I need to go, what I need to do. Well, I need 
I know what I need to accomplish. I just don't know exactly how I'm going to do it if I have everything I need to accomplish my goals. And the big thing is getting at invisibility talisman so that I can sneak into that cave and talk to the, you know, talk to the panda god. Yep, you're not really saying anything I you haven't already said. So let's keep just talking. Imperial Palace, yeah. You didn't... Things. Quickness, here we go. Quickness is the true secret weapon of the survivor. There is a little known prayer that can bring you great speed and quickness. The prayer of quicken my space. Quick. I better write that down. Quick in my space. I just learned a new mantra. Okay. Quicken my pace. Awesome. That's good. That's good. That's good. While making an incense offering, you will remain quick only as long as your body is strong. That means I might have to keep empowering my spirit. What thing interests you? That's it for now. What can I do for you? That's it for now. Wow, so I can quicken myself. Awesome, good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, Isle of the Dead. Let's go. Let's head over there. And the Isle of the Dead, Isles of the Dead, are east of these islands. So let's go check it out. But first, let's look at the map. There are geographical locations that you can see on the map. Green turtle, striped turtle, gold dust, parchment. Did I go past it? I must have. It's up here, isn't it? Explorer's map. There it is. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Isle of the Dead is over here. This is where that shaman is that I got to talk to. And the explorer said the best way to get there was from the northeast. So, let's go do that. We're going to go. We're going to go and we're going to travel along the northern side of the Isle of Isles of the Dead. And then come in on that top right corner area. I'm hungry. Give me some food. Okay, the sun will be coming up here. Oh, uh, here we go. See, this kind of sucks. The storm rages. I can't do anything. I just got to wait and wait for this. There it goes. Wait for that to pass. Sometimes it seems to last a long time. Okay, there's isles. There's some islands. Bodies of water. Very nice. Uh-oh, another storm. I think this is going to be a very strong reoccurring theme here on the Isles of the Dead. It's dark, gloomy, overcast. I can't see if it's day or night. Pitch black sky. I'm hungry. It's raining. I just got hit by lightning. I think that's the third time. Actually, it didn't, I didn't take any damage, so maybe I didn't get hit. It just got close. Yeah, I'm disappointed in the graphics and the sound in this game a little bit, but oh well. Come on! End! Jeez. Have to wait. 
back in the day when we were younger gamers playing this game, it was all part of it. You waited. You had to wait. You waited for games to load, especially on the Commodore 64 and some of those other 8-bit computers. But we've gotten old. Computers have gotten faster. Is this the northeast corner? This does look like it is. I did not recall seeing a cave, but okay. I'm going to try to sneak in through these rocks up here. And I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. <gasps> I think I can. Okay, let's check this out. Anchor, drop anchor. Yeah! Okay, I dropped anchor. Oh, there I am. I did, I got through. Now, is this a cave? It is a cave. Oh, cool. That must be the shaman. Hey, shaman. Come here. And he's got a scroll I can read. And he's bald. Just like so many other people are. Mm, sad. Okay. Here we go. Let's talk to this guy. See if I can get me a thing. I am Konobi. Kenobi. Kenobi? That ju I just got that. Kenobi. Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, come on. Kenobi. Oh, you, you got... Oh. That's sad. <laughs> Shaman of the Easterly Islands. What then interests you? What about you? I am Kenobi. Sh okay. I, uh, advice? Learn the secret ways that you may succeed. What then interests you? Peeps? Tell me about the Warlord. Zorong the Warlord has solicited the dark powers of Xinjiang the Alchemist. Who is here on your mind? Emperor. The Benevolent Emperor shall rule again. What is on your mind, the Alchemist? He has been formed a dark bond with the evil forces of the astral plane, and I expelled his ass. Explorer, you have met. I have met him, the explorer, but not seen him lately. What is on your mind? You're not really doing much for me, fella. Astral plane. The astral plane is reached by the astral gate. I believe Shenjing must have access to the astral gate. You should try to stop Shenjing from using the astral gate. I did. Oh, Red T. Isle of the Dead. You were on the Isle of the Dead. It is not a safe place. What place? That's it for now. Okay. Things. Astral Gates. Peach Seed. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff. Panda Bears. Giant. Let's talk. Let's talk. The Astral Gate is the portal to and from the Astral Plane. Destroy it and you can stop the Alchemist as he does his evil on the new moon nights. I did do that. The scent of peaches is sometimes present in this area. The plumes of a heron can give you lofty perspective. What is on your mind? Turtles. You can use the shell of a striped turtle to divine a talisman for you. You have a striped turtle with you. I see. Would you like me to divine a talisman? Yeah. Which talisman? Oh. Oh. Look at this. Invulnerability. Invisibility. Water walking and levitation. Let's go invisibility because that one we know we need. I will divine the talisman using the shell of the turtle with the blind man's shoe. The shaman mutters a repetitive chant under his breath. The lines of the turtle turtle shell have favored your future. The talisman is yours. Cool. I guess I don't know how to use it, but tur turtles again. I can use the, the striped turtle. You have a striped turtle with you, I see. Would you like me? Yes. Um, water walking. Invulnerability. What's that? You are lacking the essential artifact for this talisman. Oh. Ah. Bummer. I can use the... Let's check on the other ones. Um, yeah. I already have invisibility. Water walking. You are lacking the essential artifact. Hmm. There's stuff I need to get this guy to make me some talismans. What about levitation? I will divine. I will divine the talisman using the shell of the turtle with the her on feathers. The shaman mutters a repetitive chant under his breath. Cool. 
that's it for now. Talisman is yours. Panda bears. Well, the panda roams these remote aisles in obscurity. What is on your mind? He's not saying anything. Let not the beetles see your approach. Let not the beetles see your... Okay. What thing is on your mind? Let not the beetle... Wait a minute. Giant water beetles. Let not the beetles see your... I have the invisibil invisibility tal talisman. I must have to use that on the beetle. The big giant water beetle. I ran into one once early in the gameplay. That's it for now. Places again? No, nothing. I didn't hear any alarms go off when I was talking to him. But I want to see what's on his scroll. Get out of the way, shaman. Read the scroll. Yes. Whoops. Yes. You examine the scroll. And I got a little... Dee -dee -dee. There exists four talismans which can give their users special abilities. These talismans enable their user to defy the physical laws of the material plane. The four talismans are known as... The Talisman of Invisibility It renders its user unseen by the eyes of flesh, though attempting to interact with the visible world may negate its effects. Okay, that's good to know. So if I bump into something or touch somebody or talk to somebody, I'll be able to be seen again. Kyrs the requires a blind man shoe the mantra is unseen presence okay so i gotta write this down unseen presence in order to activate the talisman i have to use the mantra unseen presence okay that's good to know the talisman of water walking get out of the way hand talisman of water walking gives the user solid footing on the surface of all water it requires a mandible from the sea beetle, but let not the sea beetle see your approach. Its mantra is the solid path. Okay, I'm going to write that down too, even though I don't have that. The solid path. Um, okay, the talisman of water walking gives a user solid footing on the surface of all water. Okay, the talisman of invulnerability, it makes its user impervious to physical damage. It requires the scale of a sea dragon, but must be unseen, but be un, as unseen on the solid footing as possible when approaching the dragon. Its mantra is the armored one. Okay, so I obviously I need to use the invisibility talisman to get a sea or get a water beetle shell, scale, whatever. That lets me walk on water. And then while I'm invisible and I can walk on water, I can get the scale of a dragon, a sea dragon, which I can use to make a talisman of invulnerability. Oh my gosh. There's a lot that I got to do. The armored one. And I bet you the armored one, I can use that when I fight the warlord. And then I can beat him because I, I remember in 1990 fighting that guy and he just smoked me, man, like bad. The Talisman of Levitation, it lets its user rise into the air for a complete view of his surroundings. It requires the feather of a Huron on the wing. I have that one. I have that one. But maybe it'll help me get a look of everything that is around me. That's interesting. The power of the talisman is released when a possessor of the talisman utters the mantra associated with it. So if I want to cancel water walking as an example, because I'm sure it'll drain on my energy, I have to reuse the mantra to cancel it. Never let the talisman power drain your spirit to depletion. That would be fatal. Okay, now we know. That makes a lot of sense. Copy the scroll. No. I don't need to. I got all that stuff written down. Okay, but I'm hungry. All right. Well, wow, we got a really good uh, thing going here. We got two talismans. I closed Shen Zheng on the other side of the astral plane. He's trapped there now, so he's gone. And what else? What else? What else? I freed two shrines. I exercised the priests, saved them. And I talked to the assassin. He talked about, you know, the art of quickness and talismans and all that good stuff. I got found the shaman. I got two talismans made. 
I need to get two more striped turtle shells because I'm betting you that the striped turtle shell is the one that I need to buy for the other two talismans as well. And I got two more talismans I got to get made once I get the shell. Woo! And I got to talk to the panda at the peach tree, which I haven't even found yet. Oh, there's so much going on. Okay, that's it. We're going to call this one good. We're going to end it. So let's do a quick save and quit. Yes. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you in the next video. This game is picking up. There's a lot going on. This is a fun game. The music kind of blows. The sounds kind of blow a little bit for what the Amiga is. It should be. It could be better. So not all games are going to be awesome. But it's a really fun game. I'm glad I'm going through and doing this, this playthrough on it. Um, yeah, stay safe out there. Uh, just, yeah, that's it. I got nothing else to say. That's it. Catch you on the next video.